Turning now to our next segment, and here's a question for you. What world-famous daredevil got his start right here in the desert? Well, Steve Sumrall has the answer in tonight's Our Desert Past. It was January 1966 when a very special individual paid a visit to Indio on his way to becoming a legend. His name was Evil Knievel, and he is a part of our desert past. Before we get back to racing, I'd like to introduce to you a most unusual young man. This is Evil Knievel, and uh, his specialty in sports is to take a motorcycle up over a ramp and leap through the air some 90 feet. That's what he's going to try to do today. When a mere mortal is powered by the heart of a champion, what you get is Evil Knievel. Throughout the late 60s as well as the 70s, this master showman captured the hearts and minds of a nation by doing the thing that most of us only dream of, soaring through the air at an accelerated speed, defining what it means to be a daredevil. So, where did the legend begin? Believe it or not, Indio. It was January 23rd, 1966 at the Date Festival Fairgrounds. The motorcycle daredevils were making their traveling debut. They would do such small time stunts, such as jumping over snake pits and mountain lions and busting through walls of fire. The writer formerly known as Robert Craig, now Evil Knievel, made his debut jump over two pickup trucks, roughly 45 feet. The bike used was a British model, the Norton 750cc Atlas. It was a successful jump, but unfortunately, that success did not follow him to Barstow. That was where, several weeks later, he suffered a traumatic groin injury while attempting to jump over a speeding bike. During his recovery, the motorcycle daredevils disbanded, making Evil Knievel a solo act. Takeoff, of course, very critical. One year later, Evil was able to reach a much larger audience with his first televised jump. He went over 15 cars in Gardenia's Ascot Park. A beautiful leap as Evil Knievel gets the raw approval from the crowd. The rest is history. Here is Evil's son, Robbie Knievel, following in his father's tread marks as he makes a jump at the Spa Resort Casino in 2015. A proud family legacy and part of our desert past. Steve Sumrall, NBC Palm Springs.